Welcome back once again all of my low carb friends and for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. Today I have another very easy keto recipe for you. Today I am going to show you how to make quick, simple keto breakfast gravy. This gravy is awesome. It's not only quick and delicious, but you can make it any flavor you want. I am specifically going to be showing you how to make sausage gravy. But if you're not a sausage fan, you can always swap out the sausage for ham, for bacon, for eggs, for anything, whatever flavor you want this gravy to be, that is the flavor that you can make it. And if you want a printable version of this recipe, you can check out my website at JanetsDeliciousLowCarbKitchen.com. You can find a printable version of this recipe and other goodies there for you. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see lots of easy, delicious, low-carb keto recipes, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notification bell that's right next to the subscribe button. That way you can be notified every time I put out videos at least every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you'd like to help support the channel, make sure you scroll down in the description of the video. You'll see some affiliate links. Anytime you purchase anything using those affiliate links, a small portion of your purchase will go to me and help support the channel. So while you do all that, let's get cooking. Preheat a large skillet over medium heat for about three to five minutes or until the skillet is warm. Chop one pound of fresh breakfast sausage links into small pieces and add them to the preheated skillet. Cook over medium heat for about 10 to 12 minutes or until the sausage is brown. Make sure you stir the sausage frequently to get all the sides browned and to prevent burning. Once the sausage is cooked, use a slotted spoon and scoop out the cooked sausage pieces, then set them aside for a minute. Spoon out about four tablespoons of the sausage fat and then discard the remaining fat. Place the reserved four tablespoons of the pork fat back into the skillet over medium heat. Add seven grams or about one tablespoon of coconut flour. Whisk the flour constantly for about one minute or until it is fully combined with the sausage fat. Gradually whisk in about 350 grams or close to one and a half cups of coconut milk or the milk of your choice. Whisk the coconut milk in until it's fully combined. Then continue to stir it frequently until it comes to a low boil. Once the milk and flour mixture has come to a low boil, then sprinkle in a half teaspoon of xanthan gum or the keto thickener of your choice. If you don't have xanthan gum, you can use gelatin powder, guar gum or very fine flaxseed meal as a thickener. Your texture will be a little bit different than if you use xanthan gum, but it'll still work and still be tasty. Whisk the xanthan gum or the thickener of your choice in constantly for about one minute or until the mixture comes back up to a low boil and the xanthan gum or the thickener that you've used is fully dissolved. Once the mixture is back up to a low boil, whisk in salt and pepper to taste and one and a half teaspoons of the dry seasonings of choice. I'm using a half teaspoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, or paprika. You can add whatever seasonings and you can adjust them more or less according to your personal taste. Whisk everything together until everything is fully combined and the mixture returns to a low boil. Once the mixture is back up to a low boil, return the cooked sausage pieces to the skillet and stir everything together until the sausage is fully coated with the gravy base. Then again, bring the mixture back up to a low boil, reduce the heat to low, and simmer for about 10 minutes or until the gravy is thick. Make sure as it's simmering that you stir it frequently so the gravy does not burn on the bottom. Once the gravy has thickened, turn off the heat and allow the gravy to sit for about five minutes the gravy thickens more as it cools. If it seems like it's too thick for your personal texture, then you can add small amounts of the milk of your choice until the gravy is the texture that you want it to be. Then spoon your desired amount of the sausage gravy over some biscuits or toast or some eggs, or you can just put it in a bowl and eat it as it is. That's up to you. If you do have any leftovers, allow them to cool completely. Then store them in an airtight container in your refrigerator for up to four days. Now, as I said, the gravy does continue to thicken as it cools. So if you do have leftovers in the refrigerator, when you go to use it again, 
It will most likely thicken up more, but when you reheat it, it will thin out back to its original consistency. If it doesn't and it still seems thick after you reheat it, then you can just add small amounts of the milk of your choice until it's thinned out to your desired consistency. Eat and enjoy. And that's our recipe of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click that thumbs up like button, click that subscribe button, leave me a comment if you want to. Let me know if there's any recipes that you'd like to learn how to make and I'll do what I can to get those out there for you. And as always, keep cooking.